So the Garmin Phoenix 8 has just dropped and while it's got some amazing features as you would expect from any Garmin watch, am I going to be sticking with my trusty Phoenix 7? I've had this watch for about four months now and after switching from the Apple Watch Series 7, to be honest, I couldn't be happier with that decision. So let's jump into five reasons why I won't be making the switch from the 7 to the Phoenix 8. <laughs> Reason number one, proven reliability. This thing is an absolute tank. When I ditched the Apple Watch and slapped this Phoenix 7 on my wrist, I was blown away and amazed by how rugged and dependable this watch is. It's been through everything with me, the mud, the sweat, the rain, not quite the snow yet, but whatever I've thrown at it, it's been a rock solid companion through all of my running adventures and it's still ticking boxes. Now, the Phoenix 8, sure, it's got that tougher design with the leak proof buttons, but honestly, my a Phoenix 7 has already survived more than I ever thought a watch could in the such a short time that I've had it so far. Reason number two, battery life. When I switched from the Apple Watch, it was like upgrading from a tricycle to a Ferrari. When I completed my first half marathon, the battery life of the Apple Watch from 100% was down to about 10% after two and a half hours of activity tracking. If I wanted to go a little bit further for longer, then the Apple Watch just wasn't going to cut it, hence why I got the Phoenix 7. Now compared to the Apple Watch, not including the Ultras, the Phoenix 7's battery life is insane. And depending on what activity you're doing, it can go weeks without a charge. Now this single change was a game changer for me. Comparing the entry level versions of both the 47 millimeter Phoenix 7 and 8, the Phoenix 7 does have better battery life in smartwatch mode, most likely due to that new AMOLED screen on the Phoenix 8. But like the 7, you can opt for the solar version, which is without the AMOLED on the 8, if you want to even more better battery life. But for my use, the Phoenix 7's battery life means it already meets all of my needs, whether I'm out on a long hike or just going about my day. I never have to worry about my watch dying, something which I did with the Apple Watch. Reason number three, advanced fitness and health tracking. One of the main reasons I moved from the Apple Watch to the Phoenix 7 was for superior fitness tracking capabilities. Closing the rings on the Apple Watch gave me consistency and now the Phoenix 7 offers detailed metrics, accurate GPS and robust activity tracking, all of which have been invaluable to me. After that transition from consistency to moving to trying to become above average. The Phoenix 8 does take this a step further as you'd expect from a newer watch with with updated health monitoring features, the built-in flashlight as standard, and of course that inclusion of the up to 40 meters depth of dive support. But for my needs, the Phoenix 7 already provides comprehensive data and I'm really satisfied with what I'm getting already. Reason number four, being familiar with the Garmin features. After four months of using the Phoenix 7, I've gotten to know this watch pretty good inside and out, from tracking my workouts, to changing my watch face, to navigating trails. I know exactly how to get the most out of the device and I'm still learning all the time. The Phoenix 7 introduces voice commands allowing you to make and take calls and give commands, all thanks to that new built-in microphone and speaker. For me, voice commands are a bit of a novelty. Some may use it, most probably won't. I had that feature on the Apple Watch and didn't use it as much as most times. It's easy just to quickly just set what you want on your watch or on your phone. Reason number five, cost and value. Let's be real for a second. These watches aren't cheap, they're an investment. And I made that significant investment when I upgraded from the Apple Watch to the Phoenix 7. And for me, it's been worth every penny as it's still delivering fantastic value. The Phoenix 8, yeah, it's got those sweet new features like the durable build, the AMOLED screen, improved GPS, that those voice commands, the dive support, but it's also got a heftier price tag. For some, those enhancements might justify the cost, but for me, the Phoenix 7 is already delivering everything I need and more. And while it's still crushing it, why shell out more when I'm already rocking a beast on my wrist? So there you have it, five reasons why I'm sticking with the Garmin Phoenix 7 and not jumping on the Phoenix 8 bandwagon just yet. But hey, let's be fair, there are definitely some killer upgrades on the Phoenix 8 that might just be calling your name. For me, it's got that AMOLED display, which can be a big deal if you're frequently using it in direct sunlight. And for me, having gone from an Apple Watch to the Phoenix 7 and essentially downgrading the visual beauty of that OLED screen on the Apple Watch to that MIP display on the Phoenix 7, the AMOLED screen is definitely one of those features that would be tempting for me. If those features are speaking to 
you and you're all about having the latest and greatest, then the Phoenix 8 could be your next upgrade because effectively the Phoenix 8 is the best Phoenix that Garmin have made. But for me, the Phoenix 7 still checks all the boxes, especially after making that jump from the Apple Watch. But you just can't ignore that hefty price tag. If that's not a worry for you, I'll leave the Amazon links to all three watches that I've talked about in this video in the description below. While I'm running, Garmin Phoenix 7 is all I'm gonna need for now. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.